An article has been making the rounds recently, and just taking a look at the headline, it's not at all hard to see why pro gamer fire for saying men under five to seven don't have human rights. That alone is one of the wildest things I've heard all week, but trust me, part of the reason that it's been getting so much attention is that some people looked into the streamer in particular and found out that they, that is far from their spiciest take. So we're gonna take a look at things, how things have developed since the original article came out, which has been updated. We'll talk about it in a moment, but also just we, we gotta talk about these other things. Again, before we get any further, I feel it is my duty to point out that the article in question, like I said, has been updated. So while there was a lot of criticism that these original points were missed, there was again an explanation given as to why these points were not brought up and they have been acknowledged in the main article themselves. I'm gonna discuss all the clarifying information, we'll get into the details, and I'll try to lay out enough of a timeline that you can understand how we got here. To set the scene, we have pro Tekken player Tanukana, who plays for the esports team Cyclops Athlete Gaming. On a stream just a few days ago on the 15th, she made the inciting statement saying men under 170 centimeters or about 5 foot 6.9 do not have rights and should look into bone lengthening surgery. Now, I'll admit I'm relatively vertically challenged myself. I'm only five foot six and that's, you know, feel free to dunk on me literally and figuratively. And while I was deeply, deeply hurt to find out that I was only 0.9 inches away from earning my humanity, I decided to hold off on this. I was gonna talk about it because again, one of the wildest headlines I've ever seen, but I figured there was a lot of context that might be unveiled in the following hours, maybe even a day or two. And I was right. As we dig into this, you'll understand that, you know, we, there was initially a concern regarding whether or not things are translated properly, which is a big and important thing. There is apparently a slang term in Japanese that overlaps with the actual literal word she used that brought up some concepts. Ah, well, maybe that's not exactly what she meant. I wanted to make sure that the dust had truly settled because I, of course, do not speak Japanese. I wanted to see whether or not any clarifying details might come out before things were addressed, even if they didn't absolve her of the statements being perceived as negative because there was a lot of debate going on regarding issues of body shaming, issues of whether or not she deserved to be fired or simply reprimanded for it. There was a lot of discourse happening to get into, but I felt like to set the scene for that discourse, what was actually being said needed to be further clarified. So I decided to hold off. And now we have to talk about a whole different set of things because that is no longer the most pressing issue. In response to the initial tweet, a few replies started to quickly gain traction containing some much much more inflammatory statements made by the same streamer. All of this information is of course secondhand as I do not speak Japanese, must be stated again, but I have seen multiple different people who are essentially corroborating the same statement that have been posting, relatively speaking, the same translations of these statements. The list runs as follows with such highlights as, women older than 30 have rotten amniotic fluids, bald people are bald because they were evil in their past lives, calling LGBT people mentally ill and stating that depressed people and blacks can be cured if they stop being so selfish. Again, the translations are a little iffy, but that's roughly speaking what's going on. At the very least, the concept of some of the easier to understand statements is enough to understand why people would be very, very justifiably upset. To get back to the article though, and the criticisms therein, I think we've discovered the issue along the way here, and that these were all comments made during streams entirely in Japanese. Meanwhile, the initial apology Tanukana gave on Twitter, which has since been deleted, only mentions her statements about short people, and more specifically, that she unintentionally misrepresented her love for tall people, which is, again, its own kind of interesting. But that aside, neither the current apology nor the statement on Cyclops Athlete Gaming's website give any more specific details than that. And it would take some time after that for the translations of other things said to start making their rounds on social media in response to the initial article. So once again, the internet detective agency proves to have a very, very strong track record. But like I said, as of recording, the article has been updated, clarifying this additional information, and another pro player for the same agency has been reprimanded for homophobic content. So it does seem like they are paying attention. It does seem likely that the company in question was taking into account the totality of things said by Tanakana when they made this decision, even if that last statement, possibly by virtue of going viral, was the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. One way or another, that is where we currently stand. And that, folks, 
has been quite the ride, but it's an, another day in esports news. It's been a, once again a very interesting story to dig into, but I want to know how you folks are feeling about it now that you know the totality of things so far. Once again, she's no longer with the agency. She has been fired, so action has been taken. I don't have to ask how you think about that, but I will ask how do you feel about the story in general? Are you surprised that... I don't know that someone made a comment about short people. It turns out they had everything else in the world to say because that surprised me. Just drop a comment down below with, I don't know, the wildest. Let me know what you think the wildest things she said out of the list that are going around are. And other than that, that's all the news I got for you today. Thanks for joining me once again, and I'll talk to you next time. My God, man, the internet.